Even in a pandemic, love finds a way. Had kind of this immediate connection. There are fairy tale love stories. We've seen each other every day. Nancy and Herb met at work. When the pandemic hit, they started talking and dating over FaceTime. Within 10 days, he said, you know, I'd like to marry you. Seven weeks later, they were engaged, then a wedding, and a honeymoon down old Route 66. And now that you guys can look into each other's eyes uh, without a cell phone, uh, <laughs> what's the best part of this? Everything. The best is we're together. Yeah. <laughs> and we're alone. Yeah, we are. And it's real. <laughs> When Mike and Andrew met online, they lived in two different states. After hours chatting virtually, they flipped a coin. And she picked up her life and moved 500 miles to him. On day 65, we bought a property together. And if one of our kids did this, we'd probably be pretty upset with them. And here we are at our age, doing something that's really, really quite silly, but fun. Manuela was studying abroad in Spain. Ryan was at home in Pennsylvania when they met online. And then the travel ban went into place. We're here in the middle of a pandemic, like, you know, life is on pause. And I still managed to find somebody who I think is like, you know, everything I would have asked for in a partner. Griffin and Niall are both students at Michigan State, but because of COVID, their relationship began online and apart. I'm so happy that we are together in the same city now and not long distance because that was difficult, especially with COVID. And it wasn't just new love that flourished. Valerie and Michael divorced in 2016. We spent, you know, significant, a couple of years away from each other. In 2020, the lockdowns brought them back together. We picked up where we left off. I do think that the pandemic made us appreciate what's under our nose. Cedric was set to propose to his girlfriend, Julia, in Jamaica, but then international travel was shut down. COVID really kind of changed everything. It brought us home and helped us to really just settle down and focus on family and each other. So he painted this mural for her and popped the question. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You know, you can't wait another day. What's the lesson here on, on love, even during difficult times? No matter how crazy the world is, you know, you know, we still have to find the things that we care about. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.